Welcome back. This morning was a little cool out there. In fact, you almost needed a jacket. It was beautiful, though. 57 degrees our morning low in Des Moines, the coolest temperature we've had since June 4th. Now, it wasn't quite record-breaking. The record morning low for today, 53 in Des Moines, Atumwa, Waterloo, and Mason City all coming in there in the low to mid-50s, and the record's there for the 40s, but still definitely cooler than what we see in July. The reason for all this, this big upper-level low-pressure system over the UP, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, Michigan, and that has allowed the jet stream to dip really far south. It brings all this cool Canadian air in and has really made for some pleasant weather and beautiful sunset tonight, too. This sent in to us from Dawn Range up in Ames. Nice to see the sun setting there over the water. Hope you enjoyed today because uh, clouds are going to roll in tomorrow. It won't be quite as nice out there. Here's a live look on our Skycam downtown Des Moines. Lots going on tonight. Beautiful evening for that and temperatures in the 60s for the most part. 64 this evening in March. Marshalltown 70 here in Des Moines Atlantic at 64, Creston at 66, as well as in Lamoni. It's about 65 degrees tonight in Sheraton. It is going to continue to feel like fall over the next several days. We have rain chances and possibly an isolated thunderstorm this weekend, and then summer does return as we head towards next week. This is the system out to our west that is going to come in overnight. It's brought some thunderstorms out into Nebraska, Kansas. It'll ultimately be bringing us cloud cover overnight and then rainfall as we go through the day tomorrow. Here's what's going to happen. The clouds are going to increase overnight and then scattered showers will be possible in southwestern Iowa early tomorrow morning. What does that mean for Ragbri? Of course, that's out east tomorrow, which is good news because uh, western Iowa won't be looking as good. Iowa City through Muscatine back over to Davenport and the Quad Cities were looking pretty good. 64 early in the morning, 72 at noon and upper 70s to wrap up the day there along the Mississippi River. So not too bad for that. We are, though, however, going to adopt some showers for state baseball. We'll be looking at scattered activity through the afternoon, so something we'll have to keep a close watch on. That's the radar as we go through the day tomorrow. Here's what Future Tracker shows. Clouds roll in overnight. Scattered showers, maybe an isolated storm out in western and southwestern Iowa early in the morning. I think mostly we'll be dry in central Iowa through lunchtime, and then it's mainly in the afternoon when we could see some of those scattered showers pop up. It's not going to rain for everybody all day. In fact, some spots probably won't even see any rain. Very scattered, and it continues that way all the way through Sunday as well. So tonight we fall to 61. We will have mainly cloudy skies, rain out in western Iowa after midnight. Tomorrow we top out at 77 with scattered showers off and on throughout the day. And a look at the next 10. We will see isolated storms both Sunday and Monday. Pretty nice for Tuesday and then summer returns as we bring in August. We will see some upper 80s and 90s headed our way again by this time next week. Mm -hmm. Not so bad at all. No, I mean, it really isn't. Weather. It could be so much worse to oh, yeah. wrap up July. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. But we could use a little shot of rain. Yeah, we do need it yeah. for sure. Hope we get it. Brandon, thanks.